We'll start with jockey of the season. Throughout the year, they'll be making monthly awards in three categories. Jockey, owner, trainer, and mayor. One winner from each of these categories will be chosen the season of the winner. So here we go, jockey of the season. This is sponsored again by the PPORA. A big thank you to Charles Dixie for coming forward to make the presentation. Our, winner, jockey, our winning jockey, ladies and gentlemen, is Sam Jukes. But, um, <laughs> Sam, the boss kind of had it, we had a nice chat with him earlier. Um, another award going, going back to Ledbury, so we've had another terrific year. Yeah, it's been great. Um, yeah, massive thanks to Clive, obviously, for inviting me the Super String of Horses to Ride. Um, yeah, and all the support from your family and friends. Well, you had two winners, we trained one winner, rode one winner, trained two, rode one winner on, on uh, Monday at Charles and Colbert. Yeah. Um, many want to go up? Um, no, no more to run from our yard at home now. We've just got one to ride for Emma tomorrow at Garthall. But yeah, that's just done at home this season now. And dare I say, Mark Rich, the highlight of the year? Yeah, absolutely it is. <laughs> that's incredible, that was. <laughs> so we're going to him. Yeah. Day. Well, to fulfil Mr. Mrs. Bennett's dream of having a champion winner must have been pretty, pretty special. Yeah, absolutely. It meant the world to all of us, especially to Clyde. Um, especially being a homebred horse, too. But, uh, no, absolutely. And Eileen would have been looking down. I mean, you know, it would have meant so much. I don't know if she dreamt of it, but she was definitely looking down on you that day. Yeah, absolutely. She was the first person I thought about across the line. So, yeah, it was a very emotional day, but it was good for all the right reasons. Good, good man, Sam. Um, we've seen a few young jockeys come forward to receive their awards this afternoon. Um, actually, you turned conditional for a time, didn't you? And you're one, one of the riders that's actually come back and made a real fist of point pointing again. Yeah, I went about it the wrong way. Uh, Peter Skew encouraged me to go conditional before amateur, um, which didn't work out for the best. <laughs> I only had five rides, um, but went back amateur, and it seemed to work out better that way. But luckily, I was able to do that, which helped. So, yeah. It's wonderful you can do back. You, you can come back if things don't work out as well. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a great opportunity if it doesn't quite work out. So yeah, it's, it's nice that you've given that option, really. Good man. Our jockey of the season, ladies and gentlemen. Sam Jukes. I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Tory forward to present the award. So our owner trainer of the season goes to Jack Posey, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, Jack. Let Jack come forward to receive his award. And he's an owner, trainer, rider, proper grassroots, point of pointing stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. He's based in Devon, he's a farrier by trade, still manages to fit in training two horses and his busy schedule. And the Dapper Fox and Four O'Clock Fox have uh, two horses he's ridden throughout the year. He has terrific fun doing so and to great success. We've got here, Jack, you've been, uh, for the past five seasons, you've paired up with these two horses in 31 races, seven winners, 12 yeah. place rides. Yeah. Doesn't get much better, does it? No, no, definitely not. I've, a lot, I've had a lot of fun with those two horses. Um, yeah. well, we all know how, how busy a schedule you know, well, I know for a fact how difficult parries are to get, to get a hold of, and um, your breed have actually got to be the, some of the worst timekeepers there are out there, aren't they? Oh, yeah, it's part of the job description, being at least an hour late. Good, well, I'm not surprised you've got to train several horses before and rush home to do evening stables with them as well. Yeah, yeah, I do my best. Well, you certainly do, both riding them and putting the shoes on in the afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Our winner of Owner Trainer of the Season goes to Jack Paisley. The breeders, owners and trainers of Definite Moon. Well done to you both. And she really is a fantastic example of grassroots success. She's a homebred mare. She's the well third done. generation well in her life, ladies and well gentlemen, well began with Windfall the Six, a mare who had a strong place in national hunt history. The first horse to be placed at Cheltenham <laughs> when ridden by a female rider, ridden by Lorna Hill's mother, Sally Gill. She's raced 38 times over six seasons, 31 point-to-points, 
17 wins, 5 seconds, 3 thirds. She contested 7 of her chases, winning 2, placed runner-up twice, and 2 wins have both been here at Stratford. She's a um, remarkable partnership with Claire Hardwick, who's uh, been there, I think, in all bar 2 of her starts as well. She's now retired. Having written it, uh, run Kimball after her last win, has already been covered by Pouncing Glance, and uh, so the chapter is going to carry on and on. Christopher, have a word about this wonderful, wonderful mayor. I actually feel a bit guilty standing here because I'm just a work writer. The credit really goes to Fran, who bred her, trained her, and Claire, who bred her in every single one of her winners but one. Um, she's been to Passing Glance twice. Sadly, she's not yet in foal. Um, but if she doesn't get in foal, she'll be back next year. <laughs> but I hope she doesn't. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, we might see we might not see the last of her any hand, but very, very well done. Thank you. That's fantastic. Thank well done to Davin and Moon. Davin and Moon, the Mayor of the Sea, Ridden the Horses. This is for the Dick Woodhouse Trophy, presented by Jackie Abbott. No, Lizzie Penny. Sorry. Lizzie Penny is here to present the trophy. And our winner, ladies and gentlemen, of the leading owner of Family Horses Ridden goes to Mike Chatterton. as he's having making the presentations to Mike. Brilliant. Well, another family win, sir. Well done, Mike. Thank you very much. Um, I'd just like to thank Chris Bilby and Antonio Bilby, who've trained this horse, and they've got our two horses, and the strike rate is absolutely amazing. Um, they've, uh, they're old horses, um, but they've kept them sound, and uh, they've done a really good job. The only bit I've played is that I've I've uh, produced a checkbook. Yeah. <laughs> produced a, oh, a checkbook. And, uh, and obviously I've worked for the jockeys. Young George has a terrific year on these two schoolmasters. It's been brilliant. Yes, yes, he has. I'd also like to thank Minty, who sourced these two horses. He, he told me to say that. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably why you mentioned the checkbook, I presume. Absolutely. <laughs> Good old Minty. Good old Minty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Jackie so Jackie, Jackie Abbott here. Yeah. No, I did. I did provide it. <laughs> All right. You just so my mentor, you love it. Well, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Keeper and owner of the season. The leading horse and leading trainer awards are sponsored by the PPORA. The leading owner award is sponsored by Stratford Racecourse. Well, all three, clean sweep, ladies and gentlemen. They go to Gentilly, to the owner, to Johnny Farrelly, and to the trainer, Johnny Farrelly. And the, in the absence of his horse, he can come up and get all three, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you to Peter McNeil to make the presentation on behalf of Stafford Racecourse. There you go, Johnny. Hello, how are you? It's not just a bug off, it's a, it's a one for three. Thank you. You've got one of those. Cheers. There's the world's press. Don't give him champagne, Peter, for God's sake. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> Terrific advert of your skills. For your skills as an owner. We'll talk oh, about the training in a minute. Um, no, to be fair, um, he lost his way. He got rated too high in under rules. And Mr. and Mr. Rooney owned him. They said, just send him point to point. He can have him send him point to point. So it was good for Luke as well. He could ride him and learn a lot on him, you know. And I mean, a phenomenal season, though. Yeah, he's been very good. He's, been, he's a champion. He, could, he just really enjoys point to point. And under rules, he's... Not as competitive because it's too hard for him, you know, but in point points he loves around there, jumps well and might stick his head up in the air but they don't go wide, you know. Well, you can make sure on several occasions he didn't. I think he got a couple of fines, his mum and dad had to pay for <laughs> well, I'm sure he'd pay a fine, wouldn't he? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> and, and your season, you have know, several point points to run at Neil Care and, um, you know, one of the great starts of the season, one or two went by the wayside and this one's obviously yeah, on the no. mantle. Yeah, no, like, look, it's worked me full time, he works really hard, so we tried to have a couple of pint points for this year that he could, yeah, go for this title and try and win it, so thankfully he did, and it was brilliant. And you've got another young lad in the yard that's going to come and right pointing for you next year? His little brother Paul, but he's not old enough yet. <laughs> he's going to have to wait a little while. Yeah, got away a little while, so brilliant. 
But you're a great supporter of the point of point team, you know, things are going well under the rules. Um, but you need, need horses like Dindy to keep things going. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like you got Liam and Jack, they're good, three good kids that are coming along and it's nice getting the support, you know. So. Good to have you here, Johnny. You were one of the few of the award winners that didn't get stuck on the Empire this afternoon, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, horse, keeper and owner of the season, Johnny Farrelly. Good